Floyd said, man, you got something. You came down here for something special. He said, I don't know what it is, but it ain't for running touchdowns. And that's what we doing, running fucking touchdowns. So damn a sports figure. It's, it's really asinine for a grown man to be playing some sports. You're world-class people. You're a world-class people. Hot idiotic, you running down the damn shit with a ball. It ain't nothing but organized homosexuality. You stick in your, you stick in your hand between a man's ass to get a brown piece of turd. That, that even jumps past the Francis Quest thing. Stick in your hand between a man's ass. You can't hand off other ways? Come on, man. Everything is everything. Don't let nobody fool you. You see what I'm saying? But that was reserved for the white boy at first. No, but now you want to stick your hand between somebody's ass. And in the 80s, over half of the college football people, uh, 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 quarterbacks, became black. Now you stick your hand between the ass. Got to understand the science of initiate. Sticking your hand between somebody's ass to get a brown piece of turd. That's science. You got to know what time it is. You think it's raunchy? No, this stuff is real. They savage you on every level. See what I'm saying? So they're going to do that with the whole nutty professor thing. They're going to savage the great grandmama. But we coming for war. Now, Alton Maddox, who stood up for, who stood up for uh, Tawana Brawley, him and Seabird and Mason back in, in 1988, he got disbarred because of that, because they refused to go to the court. And they disbarred him for 10 years. And he was supposed to uh, receive his, uh, they disbarred him like in 89. He was supposed to receive, be let back into the bar last year. So the brothers up in Harlem was like, hey, what's up, man? Why you didn't go back? He said, well, I'm going to drop something on y'all. He said, um, I could have went back seven years ago. He said, Charlie Ringo called me upstate. He said, you know the deal. You can come back now, but you know what you got to do. You see, our professions are privileged. We are not citizens. We are property of the United States government. And they showed you during the Million Man March when they said, wait a minute, at the end of the day, they say 700,000. They said it was well over a thousand a million people. 1.5. But we're still three-fifths of a human being. Three-fifths of a human being of a million average out about 700,000. That's what they were telling you. Based on the three-fifths of a human being law that was never eradicated. You see what I'm saying? You are property of the United States government. And when you are allowed to become so-called trained or educated, they give you privileges. I know I spent eight years up in the universities and didn't learn shit. <laughs> they give you privilege. And when you break those privileges, then they reprimand you in order to get back in to them to invoke privileges back. You got to buy your head as a slave. So Arthur Maddox said, in order for him to get his bar back, because that's, you know, that's the day leech, to get back into the bar, there has to be a white man or a rabbi Jew to walk him down the aisle and vouch for him and recommend him back into the bar. And until he gets that European to come and recommend him back into his system, he can't be barred again. See? Always a slave. Once a slave, always a damn slave. See what time it is? Now here's the man, top lawyer, saying, I can't get my thing back because I ain't going to buck dance that way. He was in the hell with it. I ain't going to go and ask the white man to please let me back and give me privileges to send niggas, send niggas to jail. Come off the dumb shit. You know about this, they was talking about the, you, this is big stuff all in Atlanta. Now, my, 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 uh, my ex-queen, I got to get used to that. 
you see. This costs about 5000 and No, this one has the gold in it, so this would be 7000 And if it was all gold, it would be 20000 Well, they got one called a Brighton Emergency. Now, this emergency has a little button. I got one of them fake ones, too. I got one for 20 I think I got, for, got mine for 30 But I got mine for 30 but it can cost as much as 50000 or 100000 Depends on you get the one with the diamonds on it. Did you see the movie The Skull and Bones? Anybody saw the movie The Skulls? Remember when they crossed over, they gave them this what? It was a Brightman. That's the elite ship. They got this Brightman watch, and I know John John knows about it. It's got a little button on it. When you go down in the water, you could be in Timbuktu or Kathmandu. When you pull that button, they come and get your ass. Whether you're in a plane or a boat, you pull that button, they come and get you. Now, I know John John know about this stuff because it's a pilot's watch. You see what I'm saying? But this is when you know that you are in slavery, and this is a slavery penal colony. You can, this, you can go down on the earth with this watch, and they can come get you from wherever you are on the earth. But the only place that is not allowed to have it is the United States of America. You get fined $2,000 if you pull the button and might get jail time. That's because the United States of America is not a free country. So therefore, it's not on universal maritime law and maritime nothing. So therefore, if you're pulling in the United States, you're pulling it into a, you're pulling it inside of a penal colony. Certain things you can't do inside of prisons. You see what I'm saying? So because this is a prison colony for England or Britain, because the watch is in Switzerland. And because it's a prison colony, you're not allowed to have the Brightland emergency. But elite people can have one. You see? So I'm just saying, this whole thing was a whole ritual that went down. You see?